welcome to this week's lush kitchen menu. I've left it till late again, sorry. So I will tell you right now, this week is not going to include renditions of Green Day and theatrics and singing. I promise I'll do lots more of that in the future. This week I actually have my mother up with me and she is next door right now, demoted to the lounge while I film this video. So I'm not going to spend an awful lot of time this week on this video because family are important and I want to spend time with her. So the way I thought I would do this to make this video concise, to the point and still a little bit of fun, I hope, is I'm going to do a sort of countdown timer and I'm only allowed to speak about each product for that time. I don't know how this is going to work. This could be an absolute car crash. So I will actually have the timer on the clock. Ah. So the idea is that I am going to put a timer up on the screen and I'm going to give myself one minute per item to say as much as I possibly can. Now this could be an absolute disaster because one minute is really not that much time. So first up on Monday we have a solid shampoo bar called Reincarnate. So Reincarnate Solid Shampoo Bar was the very first solid shampoo bar I ever tried. It's packed full of razoo mud, it has orange oil, rosemary, nettle, and it's supposed to have, oh it's got, it's got henna in it as well, it's supposed to soften your hair and bring out the natural highlights. So it smells of a muddy earthy sort of dry smell but the sweet orange oil sort of gives it that citrus kick and makes it slightly sweeter. There is a slight bit of rosemary in there and there's a slight bit of licorice in there. I found the product made my hair very very dry and when I was first starting out with Lush Solid, Solid hair care products I didn't get on with this product at all however I'm going to give it another try so if you're umming and ahhing I'm going to say this review was written right back when I was first starting out with Lush and I might have been a bit amateur or amateurish so give it a go I'm going to buy another one just for you guys and try it out for myself but if you have brunette hair, brunette hair, oh goodness, if you have brown hair, red hair, the henna inside of it could really bring out those highlights. Okay, also coming out on Monday is Super Tramp Bubble Bath Stroke Shower Gel. So the key ingredient in this is peppermint and whorehound. Um, it also has rose in it, it has lavender in it, it has so many ingredients, I'm going to read them very very quickly on the back. Uh, orange peel, patchouli, pettigrain, pimento, sandalwood, ginger, so many ingredients. It's very very similar to tramp in that way but it's not in other ways. I'm talking rubbish. So you can use it as a shower gel, you can use it as a bubble bath but then you can do that with any of Lush's shower gels. It's a really really dark green colour. I'm not particularly fond of this, um, but it's slightly sweeter to me than Tramp. Tramp has more of an oak mossy smell. This has more of a slightly minty, fresh, earthy smell. It's a very, very acquired taste. It's almost like running yourself along the bottom of a forest floor and licking the dirt, dry mud dirt thing. Um, very, very strong, very acquired taste. Yeah, I, 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 it sneaks up every week in the Lush Kitchen. I think they're trying to put promote it and it doesn't work. Just like this challenge is not working. Okay, also coming up on Monday, really lovely Monday, is Black Pearl Shower Gel. So Black Pearl Shower Gel is such a weird, unique and crazy shower gel, just like me except I'm not a shower gel. Uh, it's really sparkly, pearly, grey colour, unlike anything you've seen. It's quite a thin consistency. No, it doesn't smell like Twilight. So to me, it smells of blackberries with lavender. It's got a nice, sweet sort of berry scent. But the more you smell into that, you do get more of a lovely lavender smell. It's named, obviously, after uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean film, Black Pearl. There used to be a bath bomb that came out in the same scent, but that hasn't been seen for a long time. It has chamomile in there, lavender, fine sea salt, loads of lovely things, myrrh, almond oil. And it's such a lovely, softening, smooth, lovely shower gel. It really works. If you're going to buy it because you love Twilight, don't because it's nothing alike. Yes, you can smell the lavender in there and the lavender and the chamomile together sort of add that berry smell. It's really difficult to describe unless you have it. It's one of Lush's most unique shower gels. Buy it. That was better. So the first product coming up on Tuesday is something called Run to the Embassy Body Butter. 
So Run to the Embassy Body Butter is packed full of spearmint and peppermint and it gives a really, really strong minty smell. Um, it's very, very similar to Wiki Magic Muscles in that way. It's such a strong smell. It's really, really good. It looks like a green you snap the whip. Um, and the idea is that in the shower you step out of the way of the running water and scrub yourself down, in particular your feet as it is a foot scrub, and then you rinse yourself down, pat yourself down, get out of the shower, get out of the shower before you pat yourself down, and then you're left with lovely beautiful smooth feet. Um, I found the first time I wasn't overly keen on the smell because I'm not a massive mint fan but I did notice a vast improvement in my feet and it's just great in the summer when you have sort of I suppose hard working sweaty feet and you want some something that's going to take away the lovely smells that could build for some of you. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, it's a nice product, it's nice and refreshing, great time of the year to be buying it. As I say, the summer's coming up, your feet are going to get sweaty, and this is a great way of cooling, refreshing them, and you are left with nice, cool feet. So the second product coming up on Tuesday, really different product from the last one, and that is the Karma Bath Melt. So as the name suggests, the Karma Bath Melt shares its scent with the Karma range, and this looks very frightening to those of you who hate glitter. Don't be scared, it is packed full of glitter, but for some reason the glitter in this doesn't stick to your body and it does wash away with the shower or the bath. The bath, given that it's a bath melt, I can't do these one minute jobbies. Uh, it's really lovely, it does smell exactly like Karma, I've probably got it all over my nose, I definitely got it all over my nose. Um, a lovely product, I think it's quite expensive for its size, um, because it is small as you can see, it really only does one bath for me, but that's maybe because I'm greedy. Um, it's not as sweet as, for example, the shower gel or the jelly, uh, or the body lotion, but it is very distinctly the Karma smell, and it's so beautiful, clearly the most gorgeous bath melt that Lush offer. Um, I don't really know what else to say to this, a great summer product, Karma is my summer smell, it always comes out in the summer, I'm glad this is coming back, I can't buy any, but you should. The first product coming up on Wednesday is something called Vanilla in the Mist Soap. Oh my goodness, this is a dream boat in soap form, it is basically vanilla and coffee and it's described as a vanilla coffee espresso. Lush describe it better than that, that was terrible. So it's a really gorgeous buttery soap and my first impression was that it's more burnt toffee sort of smell but the vanilla pod and the gorgeous coffiness is definitely there and very very thick throughout. So the actual soap itself lathers up really well, it's gorgeous on the body, it leaves its scent behind, it doesn't share its scent with the Vanilla V range, this is something different but you do get the coffee elements. What I found really lovely about this soap was there's actual vanilla pods all throughout, so when you cut open the soap you can see there's little specks of vanilla pods throughout, so you can tell it is fresh vanilla. Um, and you can really smell that in the smell. It is just absolutely rich, decadent, buttery, such a lovely smell. If you love things like yognog because they're so buttery, porridge because they're so buttery, this is going to be right up your alley. And the second product coming out on Wednesday is Vanilla Fountain Bath Ballistic. So I'll start off by saying yes it does share its scent with the Vanilla Bee range and in its favour it does smell very strong like the Vanilla Bee range. Um, it's supposed to be like a creme brulee but vanilla fountain and it has a lovely fresh stick of vanilla sticking out the top. Um, it looks gorgeous, it looks like a pudding, it smells beautiful. My only issue is that in the water it's not very exciting. Um, there seems to be a product fault with some of them, some of them do tend to sink even though they're very fresh and it leaves you in a bath of yellow which some of you might like to bathe in yellow, but some of us, that yellow reminds us of things that we don't want to bathe in. Uh, if you love the Vanilla -y range, you might want to get this to cocktail, and if I could, because I can't, I would buy a couple to cocktail with other things, but it is lovely and creamy and beautiful, and you can really smell that Tonka and Vanilla Absolute all throughout. Again, it's quite a summery smell if you want to add it with strawberries to get that strawberry and cream or strawberry and custard. It's a lovely product, I just think in the bath it's not very impressive, and that is what stopped me from rating it any higher. So first product coming up on Thursday is the Karma Sutra Bath Bomb. So the Karma Sutra Bath Bomb is one of the smaller bath bombs from Lush, it's the same size as the Butterball, and as its name suggests, yes it does share its scent with the Karma range. Again, like the bath melt, 
um, and like the Lush bath bomb which also shares its scent and it's a little bit more impressive. It has more of a dry smell rather than a sweet smell like the Karma Cream body lotion. Um, this has got pine in it, patchouli, it's absolutely beautiful, lovely and refreshing, it's lemongrass coming through. Unfortunately as you can imagine it's quite a boring bath bomb, it just turns the water orange. Because it's small it doesn't have much impression but the smell is present in the bath. I would much have preferred Lush to have bring out Lush than um, this but it's such a lovely little product you can perhaps pair it with the Karma bath melt. They're being a little bit cruel releasing them on different days because most people who love Karma will want both this and the bath melt and they have to buy them on two separate days. Um, I wouldn't necessarily buy any more of these because I do prefer the Lush bath bomb. However, you might want to. I can't cheat. <sighs> okay, this is really hard. This is, this is turning into a disaster, but I hope you're getting a very short snapshot. I promise I won't do this again. This is a one-off. I can't talk for a minute and get what I want to say out in a minute. Also coming up on Thursday is the Dear John Soap. As you can imagine the Dear John Soap shares its scent with the perfume and it's such a unique beautiful soap. To look at it's very boring, it's like a light translucent white colour I suppose you'd say, creamy white colour, it's not very interesting but it does lather up really well and create really nice soft bubbly lather. Um, the smell is just beautiful as you'd expect, there's lots of citrusy notes there, vertiver, cedarwood, tobacco, pine, all of these scents do come through really lovely in the soap. They're nice and gentle, sometimes when you spray the body lotion or the perfume on your skin you do get an overwhelming scent to begin with before it calms on the skin, I happen to love that, but if you don't but you prefer the smell after it's mellowed a little bit, you'll love the soap because it's not in your face straight away. But it is such a lovely soap, um, great for the summer, a really lovely unisex soap, available and should be appreciated by every single person. It is so lovely. I've said lovely three times. What else can I say about this soap? If you like Dear John, buy it. This is a terrible idea. For somebody who likes talking, being limited to a certain time frame to talk is not fun. And the first product coming out on Friday, why did I say and, is B Electro Shower Gel. So this shares its scent of course with B scent and it's absolutely beautiful. When I first bought this uh, years and years ago when I got an old one on eBay, I wasn't massively keen. It is like a soapy grapefruit citrusy smell. It is so wonderful but like I said back in the day I wasn't really a fan but it has grown on me so much that this has actually just come out. It's still wet from the shower and it's been in my shower since I finished up my last bottle a couple of weeks ago and this has now joined me. This is a permanent fixture in my bath. You need to get it. It's such a beautiful colour. It's even more beautiful when it comes out of the bottle on your hands. It's quite a thick, chunky um, shower gel. It's really, really softening, really lathering, and it leaves your skin smelling beautiful afterwards, and the bathroom and the vicinity that you're in will smell of this. It's a very strong smell, but it's equally beautiful and not too in your face. Again, it's gender neutral, so both genders will appreciate this. And it's just beautiful. Rose, fennel, grapefruit. Yeah. And the last product coming out on Friday is the Dear John Bubble Bar. This product again shares its scent with the Dear John range. And again, I think the Lush Kitchen are a little bit harsh bringing them out on different days because they know if you love a scent, you'll want all the products in that scent. And the soap and the bath bomb, bath bomb, bubble bar would have gone really well together. Um, the only disappointment I have with this bubble bar is that it's very small. If you imagine the rose um, bubble bar that came out a few weeks ago and was released last year as part of the kitchen, it is pretty small and it's supposed to be this magical bubble bar that can create surplus amount of bubbles but only has to be this big. I didn't find that at all and for the price of it, it is very, very small. It's probably twice the size of a two pence coin and about that thick. However, it does have a lovely smell. It doesn't turn the water particularly interesting as the bubble bar is white. So it's a bit like Amanda Pondo. It doesn't turn it anything of any interest, but the smell is there. Um, it's quite faint because the bubble bar is quite small, but if you like Dear John, you would appreciate the fact that the scent is there to begin with. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my Lush Kitchen menu for this week. You probably haven't learned anything new from this. You're probably thinking, Jen, you're talking right now. Could you not have, like, increased your time to 1 minute 30? And the answer is, yes, I could have done. I didn't think of that. My highlights, top three. I would definitely say Be Electro Shower Gel. I would probably say the Vanilla in the Mist soap because vanilla and coffee, hello? Do I need to justify why? And my third thing would probably be Black Pearl Shower Gel. You guys sort of know my love for shower gels. What else can I say? probably a lot this week. All of my reviews of these products are available on allthingslushuk.blogspot.co.uk. You can check those out and have a lovely week. Speak to you soon. Bye.